In this video, we're going to discuss how to create SolidWorks drawing and part templates. So first, let's go to New. If you've been using SolidWorks as a novice user for a while, you've probably only looked at this screen as it sits now. If you click the Advanced tab, you see that there are actually other options. And we can see that I've already created some templates in the past. So I'm going to click the Default Drawing Template. And I'll click OK. And the first thing it asks me is what size paper and what layout I want to use. So I'm going to use A Landscape. So we'll click OK. The next thing it wants to know is if there's a model we want to go ahead and drop. And there is not, so I'll cancel out of that screen. So we're just looking at a blank drawing without any model added to it. And the next thing I want to do is to go ahead and add my name as uh, something that's attached to all the drawings that I create. So I'm going to go to File Properties. And in the Summary tab, I'm, for the author, I'm going to type in my name. So I'll click OK. The next thing I want to do is I want to start editing some of the text in the title block. And if you zoom in, you'll notice right now there's I cannot edit anything. So we'll right click on Sheet 1 and Edit Sheet Format. And we'll see a couple things. First, we'll see that we now can edit the text and the lines. We'll also see that there are some blue texts that have this dollar sign in front. And those are formulas. So this means it's going to look up the material off of the part that's dropped into this file. So a couple things we want to do. First thing I want to do is in this name, text. So I clicked on the box that's inside of the name text. And over here on the notes, I want to link to property. So I'll click the link to property button. I want it to look in the drawing. So current document. And here are a list of the things that we can add. I want to add the author. So I'll click OK. And that's the M. Young that I just typed in. For the date, let's add link to property, current document. And the date that I want to appear is the created date. I'll click there. And I don't want long date. We want the short date. And we don't want to show time. So let's see if that looks like we, what we want. All right. And some other things. Let's just keep in mind that what we're looking for for the material property is something called material. So we'll need to do that when we go to the part template. Uh, a couple other things. We need to change our blanket tolerances. So I'm going to double click on the text. It becomes editable. For the fractional, if we don't do a specified callout, I'm going to let my tolerances be 1 16th of an inch for, fraction, for fra fractional tolerances. For Angular, if it's machined, we'll expect that we can hold to 0 0.1. And I want to add the degree symbol, which is here. Here's Add Symbol button. And there's the degree. I'm going to delete a couple of the empty spaces. And for a bend, I'll let it be plus or minus one degree. For two place decimals, we'll let it be 0 0.01. And for three place de decimals, it'll be 0 0.005. Notice I'm you don't necessarily have to hold it as plus or minus one thousandth. So if, if it's if I'm listing three decimal places, I'm going to hold it to five thousandths unless I call out another specific tolerance. Let me click out of the text. It looks like the degree sign has um, is in my in the border line. So let's let's grab hold of the text and I'll move it just a little bit to get everything on the in that text box. I don't typically use these application uh, columns. So we'll go ahead and delete them to give our, our A drawing a little bit more room. So if you notice, I'm deleting the lines um, that don't affect and the text that don't affect the total drawing. Um, that line there actually does. It goes all the way across. So I'm going to change its shape. I'll just pull it over here. Let's see. 
Maybe the easiest thing to do would be to delete this line and pull this line over until it touches. There we go. Delete the application. This text, proprietary and confidential, uh, the things that I work on are not that way, so I'm going to also delete this note. So that's going to give my uh, drawing a little bit more room here. I am going to add some text. So I'm going to go to Annotation, Note. I'm going to put a note right here above the title. And I'll say University, University of Tennessee and hit escape to get out of that note command and I'd really prefer that to be a little bit bigger so let's double click we have the whole thing selected that looks like that's a size 13 let's see what 16 looks like maybe we can even go bigger and again I need to move it so it fits within the box looks like that was a little too big Get it centered here. There we go. All right. So with these changes made, I'm going to exit the sheet format. And now everything is locked again. I can no longer edit the name or any of the text. This is what I want all new drawings to have contained on them when I begin my drawing. So I'm going to go to File save as and instead of saving it as a drawing I'm gonna save it as a drawing template now, when I click on the drawing template button you'll notice that the path changes so you notice right now we're in a folder that's called UTK teaching 366 SOLIDWORKS when I click on drawing templates that changes to the local drive program data and these are where all drawing templates are located so let's call this three sixty six draw and I'll click save. Need to be careful that I understand every time that I make any changes to this, if if it's something I want to continue to um in as a template, I'm gonna click have to click file save as <laughs> SOLIDWORKS template, drawing template, and then overwrite the previous one. So I have to do that independently every time. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close this drawing now. Let's make a new part. So I'll start with a standard part. Click OK. We'll go to the same place first to file properties. Uh, I'm going to type in M. Young for the author. And this time we need to add some things under the custom tab. So I'll select, type a new property. There is a drop down, and one of the drop downs I want is material, and it's text, and the value I want is material. I don't know why SolidWorks doesn't default to have this built into the template, but it doesn't. So, so that's going to populate whenever we assign material to a part and then this value right here can be imported into the drawing. We also could do weight and this one will let it be mass. Notice it's coming out zero zero and I'm gonna type in so spacebar and I'll type in pounds. Let's also add a description and then what I like to do here is I just like to put a bracket and say add description. This is something I'm going to have to change on every part that I made, make. And so I just remind myself this is something that I need to come back and make. So I'll click OK. This is everything I wanted to add to the part template. So I'll do File, Save As. And again, I'm in... 
the templates folder now. So this is tricky. Um, I've now SolidWorks is now always pointing to the templates folder, which is kind of dangerous. I don't really want to save parts in the template folder. I'm going to change this to a part template. That's what I do want to save in the templates folder. And I'm going to change this file. I'll call it 366 part. Click OK. All right, I'm going to exit out of this so I so that I can start fresh. So now let's build a part, save it, and then build a drawing from that part. So I'll click New. There's my 366 part template that I just created. I'll click OK, and just make any part here. So a new plane. Let's do a rectangle. Dimension it quickly. So six inches by. 2.5 inches, exit the sketch, extrude, that's fine, 0.1 inch. So now we're ready to add material. So right click on the material button and we're going to edit the material. Let's let this be an aluminum. We'll do 1060 alloy. So we'll apply that and close. And also, let's go ahead and put a description here. So file properties. And if you notice, the description here is blank. And I'm going to just actually type in the word blank. Blank plate here. And when you click off of that value, you can see that that's the uh, evaluated value. So we'll click OK. And we're ready to save. And I'm going to call this plate and place it in, let's see, let's do file, save as. I'm going to place it in this folder here. I've actually already named it plate, so we'll just save it right there. Go ahead and overwrite that. Now let's make a new drawing, so new and 366 draw. That's the one we want to use, so click OK. And it asks me, do I want to use plate? That is what I want to use. I'll double click on it and let's choose the front view and then drop it here on the tech on the uh, white space, maybe give it a side view as well, and hit escape. And let's zoom in and let's see what's happened. So the material is self populated, the weight has self populated, the drawing number is the name of the file, what I called plate. But if you notice here, the title has not self populated. So this looks like it might be a bug in SOLIDWORKS 2015. I haven't seen this in other editions. I'm going to go ahead and save the drawing now. So I'll save it as plate. It's a SOLIDWORKS drawing file. So we'll click Save. And it's warning me that I've already done this, so I'll overwrite it. Now the next step I want to do is actually get that title to, to display the description. So to do that, I'm going to open the part. So if you look under Drawing View, here is Plate. I'll right click on Plate and we're going to open the part. I'm going to go back into the description. And instead of blank plate, I'm just going to... Actually, let's just try clicking OK. And Save and back now to the drawing and it populated. So it appears as if after you've inserted the, draw the part into the drawing you need to go back into the part and just open up that screen and it'll make everything populate like it's supposed to. Alright, notice I have my blanket tolerancing. That's extremely important. If this is not here then I would need to put a tolerance on every single dimension. And I also have everything else populated the way I want. So this completes the tutorial for templates for drawings and parts. If I want to do an assembly drawing template, I would do it the same way as the part drawing template.